my love, what are you at? My darling. <laughs> what are you at? Well, I am 32 years of age, so don't talk to me like I'm a teenager. I um, became a priest because I believe in the church and I don't want the church to die because I believe in the power of prayer, the power of the spoken word, and because I believe in Christianity. And um, I take it very, very seriously, being a priest. And I hope you don't mind my saying don't talk to me like a teenager, because I know you are fond of me, so in a way you think of me as a daughter, but it's a very adult decision, and I have a lot of respect for everybody who would be uh, critical. I think it's wise, because yes, you're, you're all absolutely right. A person shouldn't become a priest unless they take it dreadfully seriously. And I thank everyone for their criticism, for want of a better word, because I'm someone who responds well to teachers who will be tough, and I take this as teaching. Um, so, and it's true, it's been said that people will know me by my fruits, and I wouldn't expect anyone to trust me without getting to see my fruits. But when you see my fruits, you'll see how nourishing and beautiful they are. Okay? Why are you associated with Bishop Cox? Well, I like Bishop Cox a lot. Um, I've, he is as innocent as a lamb, but as wise as a serpent. And I identify with that. Um, okay, people call him a rebel, but the thing is that why, why he's called a rebel is because the church got rid of the Latin Tridentine Mass, as you know, um, although people really liked it a lot. But those priests who continue to say the Latin Mass are, are not accepted as such by the church. Um, so he's thought of as being this rebel to the extent that he wasn't even allowed to go to his own mother's funeral um, because he says the Latin Mass, even though every politician in the town could go, poor Michael couldn't go, you know. So he actually he is a very innocent man, he's a very honest and true priest and, you know, a servant of God in the, in the form of truth. And any suggestion that was made by Buckley, who I really admire and love and respect as a, as a matter of interest to him, that, the, that any type of simony took place is absolutely not so. Okay, I'll come to you in a minute, but what I, I, do you believe that you are a valid, validly I, and lawfully uh, ordained I priest? I have been ordained twice as a priest. I took the step of having of taking back the charitable donation that I made. And the 150,000? And also being ordained again so that there wouldn't be any shadow of simony. I consider myself to be a twice valid, twice ordained priest, as I was called by God to be. Well, you may be valid, but you're unlawful. Well, uh, unlawful according to whose law, not according to God's, because God makes his own priests and priestesses, and we're all born priests, actually, and it's not for men to make people priests. And but it's equally not, not for men to say no to God when God is saying indeed, yes. Indeed, indeed, but you're not lawful. You don't, you are not a validly and lawfully ordained priest of well, Rome. Yes, I, well, I'm not necessarily accepted by Rome, but I believe I will be eventually. I'm quite confident that Rome has a heart which can be appealed to. Um, and though I come from love and my vocation is true and it might take them a while to see that but after a while I believe that they will see that it's true. So I believe it'll be only a matter of time, perhaps years, but only a matter of time before I and other women will be accepted as priests. So you believe you're validly uh, ordained but yes. not, not lawfully ordained? I'm not going to get into answering that question. I am a valid priest, twice ordained, and anyone who wishes to receive any of the sacraments of the Roman Catholic Church from me can do so by contacting me through my bishop, Bishop Cox, at uh, St. Coleman's Church in Cree, County Offaly. Some mm. people believe, great. Those who don't believe don't have to believe. Those who do believe, here yes. I am. Well, well the, the situation, I know it's highly legalistic, and you would need Paddy McEntee well, no, my and bishop is a valid Adrian bishop, and I, I was Dunhill. ordained by a va valid bishop, and I yes, am Yes, but not, valid not lawfully. Not lawfully. According to Rome, not lawfully. But anyway... You, nothing any you can do, Gay Byrne, will invalidate my priesthood. No, but it's a, uh, nothing I can do can, will, will uh, influence you one way or the other. You don't have to believe in it if you don't want to, and no, it's no, not no. my I'm, job I'm to just convince asking you. you. Those who do I'm, believe, Rastafari. I'm just asking what you believe. And Rastafari, that, that, that's dread I, Rastafari. Why, why were you ordained a second time by him? To cover any danger or suspicion of it being um, simony. Yes, which is the sin of yes. buying uh, sacraments. Now, shall I get on with uh, my song? No, so no, no hold, hold on. I just, you said earlier to, 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 to Jerry that, that, that you said the money never got to him because obstacles were put in your way. What? Well, no money ever. The money I agreed to give Michael was uh, well after we had arranged my ordination. I made a charitable donation in two halves, which was for the building of a healing centre in Offaly, which was for the benefit of the traveller people of Offaly. However, Mr. Buckley, Bishop Buckley, decided to make this seem like simony, so I, to protect myself yes. and my sacred priesthood, took back the money, and, or rather, luckily the money had never got to his account anyway. Um, 
but he had agreed if it did, he would give it right back to me. So um, I so we arranged he would give me back, and I had to, took the step of him ordaining me again, so there couldn't be any doubt about it. Yes. Well, what yeah. reaction, Sinead, did you have after you, you were with Marion on, on uh, Monday? A uh, very positive reaction. The media, of course, all give out, but they never represent public opinion. They never did, and they never no. will. People on the street treat me with the respect and love that I've always been treated with. So. Yes. Can I sing my song, please? No, no, I want to talk to you a little more. Uh, how are you? How I'm are great. you? I'm very well. I'm very happy. And, and uh, we were told that you were going on a retreat. Uh, 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 I am going to stay with my Bishop Cox for about five weeks, in, in a couple of weeks' time, to do some pretty yes. intensive training. And I might remind everyone that the apostles were not trained in Scripture when Jesus ordained them. Neither were any of the people that God or Mary ever appeared to on this planet, anything but illiterate and lowly people. Yes. Um, uh, also, for all of the scriptures that a person might have learned, uh, that doesn't make them a priest. What makes a person a true priest is their ability to get on the streets and roll up their sleeves and get dirty and get down and, and speak to people and be a friend and a mother to them. Uh, so I'm very good at learning instantly as well, and my heart is in it, so I will learn all the liturgy and all the scriptures and, and everything else, just as the apostles had to when Jesus ordained them. Have you said Mass yet? I have said about five Masses. In Latin or, or? A mixture of Latin and English. Mixture I've said both. some in completely Latin, some in English, some with a good mixture of Latin and English. Yes. And, and are you suggesting to me now you're going to stop performing? No, 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 no. Stop, no. What I call my holy trinity is I am a mother, I am a singer and I'm a priest. These things are equally sacred to me. That's my holy trinity and I will be true yes. to this. So, so you, will, you will presumably say, say Mass regularly, but you'll go on performing as Sinead O'Connor? Yeah. And absolutely. will you wear the garb or will you go back to wearing your lovely No, dresses? I wear this forever now. I'm going to auction all my clothes off for charity. I'm setting up a charity which will hopefully fund, as well as my singing career, my healing centre at Lourdes, which I'm going to build so that the traveller people can come to Lourdes to have holidays that they wouldn't otherwise get. Um, uh, or any people at my discretion that I feel could benefit from a, a trip to Lourdes. Um, so I'm going to set up a charity to fund that as well as funding it with my own career. But I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is auction off all my clothes and make up for that. And did I read somewhere that you said you were going to be celibate? <clears throat> well, I'm <laughs> contemplating taking the celibacy vow, but my boyfriend has asked me, uh, my bishop, or one of my bishops, Buckley, who incidentally uh, I adore and love, and we challenge each other intellectually, so we actually get on very well. Um, but he advised me to pray about it, which I think is very wise. And uh, my boyfriend has asked me, would I mind praying about it for about 25 years? <laughs> so uh, I don't. I'm going to think about it. It's something I want to think about and pray about and take very seriously. And is your boyfriend in favour of this this move? That yes, very much so. Anybody that knows me and loves me knows how much sense this makes and how true my calling is and how all women who are called by God have a right to say yes to God. So I see. This lady wants to ask oh. a question. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Um, I just want to ask you, Sinead, I, I think I have no problem with you being ordained as, as, a, as a priest, as a woman. I think it's wonderful. And if it gives recognition to the needs for women to be priests in this country, that's great. Sure. But what I don't know much or anything about the Tridentine Church, but I have an idea that it's probably very conservative. Yeah. Um, the old Latin church, and that worries me because that's very patriarchal. Yeah. Well, well, I have a well, problem with that. Well, Bishop Cox particularly was extremely conservative, is extremely conservative, and was absolutely adamantly against women priests for, for a long well, time. Well, that's what yeah, I wonder no, about. No, I'm glad you asked that yeah. question because what I think is a beautiful symbolism happening here is that this is the old traditionalists holding hands with the funky new people and the funky new people holding hands with the old traditionalists because you cannot have one without the other. It's very important to keep this church alive that we keep what is good about the old and bring in what's good about the new, but we mustn't, you cannot have one without the other, you've got to respect. So I like the symbolism of myself and the old tradition holding hands, what I represent as, say, a rock.